Back now with breaking news, Republican Congressman George Santos is now in custody after surrendering to federal authorities on Long Island this morning. Now Santos is facing criminal charges which include wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds, and making false statements. ABC's Rena Roy has the story. Embattled Republican Congressman George Santos facing a judge today, just hours after federal prosecutors announced criminal charges. Santos charged with wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds, and making false statements. In the 13-count indictment, prosecutors allege he used political contributions to line his pockets, unlawfully applied for pandemic-era unemployment benefits, and lied to the House of Representatives. Santos expected to appear in court later today. Sources tell ABC News he's expected to plead not guilty. Congressman, did you misuse campaign finances? He's cleared away and blocked the entrance. He's cleared away and blocked the media. Santos hasn't said how he was able to donate more than half a million dollars to his campaign after earning just $55,000 two years earlier. He's also facing allegations that he illegally used campaign funds to pay for personal expenses like rent. Santos has denied any criminal wrongdoing. Are you worried about being prosecuted? I have, I have no clue. I don't know what it's about. You have no idea what it's about? No. Nope. There have been growing calls for Santos to step down. He's been accused of lying about everything from his resume to his family history. Will you step down? I will not. The congressman said he worked for Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, graduated from college, and that his grandparents survived the Holocaust and his mother was in the 9-11 attacks. All of that is untrue. Santos speaking with Piers Morgan on Talk TV. I've been a terrible liar. It wasn't about tricking the people. This was about getting accepted by the party here local. If Santos is convicted of a crime, he could continue to serve in Congress, though he'd likely face growing pressure to resign. He would have to be removed by two-thirds majority vote in the House. If convicted, Santos faces 20 years in prison, though it's unclear if he'll actually end up serving that much time. Rena Roy, ABC News, Central Islip, New York.